So as promised, I wanted to review some of the World Cup jerseys that I bought for the 2018 World Cup. And the first one that I want to start with is the England jersey. Um, that I will post about. Really nice classic England jersey. The version that I have is of course without numbers because that's the way I prefer it. Numbers usually wash out. What are notable features? First of all, it's a very, very clean shirt. You will note that the three lion crest is nicely stitched on. It's a replica version, so this is actually fabric and it's not a sticker that's on the no plastic transfer. For that reason, I like the replicas better. Also the star, which is in silver, is nicely stitched on. Um, on the inside, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but there's a rose pattern in white, which I wish was in uh, red or some other color. And then the color is the typical Nike 2018 color. You even see the weird uh, jump here. It kind of makes it then like a faux shirt color. But uh, since it's all white, you don't see it. And it also makes this interesting outline around the collar which ends kind of in a pointed line and at first this looks uh, really cool upon closer inspection I have to say I was a little bit disappointed that it's actually due to the fabric cutting across but it's still I think it's a very nice effect. Another feature that I like on the back is of course the St. George's cross in the taping here. Um, it actually matches up nicely. When I was watching England, I always had I felt that it was a little bit higher, but it's because the taping here, this is kind of thick. So uh, it lifts off and then very, very subtly, and I'm not sure if the, you know, the camera picks it up a little bit, is you can see this um, zigzaggy pattern on the sleeves that of course on the France shirt that I have here, just for comparison, is in um, light blue on dark blue. The English shirt is not visible at all. I was wondering, would it be better if this would have been in red? I'm not quite sure about it. Also, there is a lot of horizontal striping all over the... Uh, kind of uh, pinstriping all over the front and the back of the jersey, making the material feel of this actually um, quite different than the France jersey, which has a very smooth uh, but um, almost too perfect feel. This is a little bit more organic. It's a little bit more like a real um, cloth. So therefore it wears a little bit differently, but uh, in not any way nice uh, verse or nice. So uh, it's just different. Of course, the color outline is a little bit uh, you gotta get used to. But all in all, I really think this is one of the best England shirts as of late. I really like that it was blue swoosh with the red numbers that are here. I would have preferred the number here to be honest. And they used a very, very interesting numbering font that also worked well. Yeah, really nice shirt. One of my favorites, when I saw this one, I already said this is, a, this is one of my favorite, favorite shirts. Maybe here you can slightly see that here is the zig. The center line of the zigzag pen, it's very hard to make out in the camera. Yeah, here you can see it a little bit. But yeah, uh, one wonders why it is there. Um, it's a little bit shinier material on an opaque um, background. Yeah, so that's my England shirt. I really like it. I think I gave it an eight stars. I might even consider nine. To be honest, uh, but I think it was because of the numbering being of being of being in front that it's not. Let me know how you like this jersey. I really love it. Uh, I'm glad this is my first England jersey. Yeah. Curious to my comments. Um, let me know if you like videos like this. Uh, whether I should do more. I'm sure they will do reviews of of all my jerseys. Uh, for more detailed review, of course, you can go to my blog where I'm writing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and like my channel and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. 
Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.